Hey everyone, welcome to Life in the Valley. On today's episode, we're going to wander to the back of the farm and go see if we can't get a couple minnows. <laughs> so we're just on our way back here Hank's pulling the new smitty sled but uh, yeah I don't know if you guys can see the opening up and through here it's the big flood at the back of our farm here in the pond over here and uh, we're gonna go trap some minnows Hank, not that way. As you guys can see, the little stream here is still trying to flow. Oh, we're supposed to get some more rain today. We got all the snow last night. back here at the pond at the back of the farm um, this is a like a head pond for a creek that flows down into the lake we're gonna go out and see if we can't get a couple minnows hopefully uh, maybe a couple mud minnows and shiners or suckers or something see if we can't find anything better than buying them well we're gonna go get started Oh, well, that new smitty sled seems to be working pretty good. But, yeah. Well, we got our hole here. It was a good... 10 inches of ice back here, which is pretty good for this pond, that's for sure. We're gonna set one more trap up over there, but you guys can see there's open water right there flowing over the dam. But uh, I'm gonna find out how much water we're in here. So yeah, we're in two foot nine, almost three foot with a water type of deal. I think that should be enough for minnows, I hope. The water's flowing here pretty good, so oh well, we'll see what happens. Crunching up the bread like that just makes it last a lot longer in the trap. Uh, pumpernickel bread, stuff like that, it works really well. It's a lot, it lasts a lot longer, or even dog food some guys use. But uh, put the trap together, just hook that in there. 
hook that in there and then you have this clip here you just go like that clip or shut and you're good to go just gonna tie on a rope here quick Got the trap just sitting on that stick and uh, just a couple feet below the ice here uh, we'll just let it soak for a bit and come back and see what happens but usually what you'd want to do is take a whole bunch of fluffy snow put it over the hole build it all up as much as you can so the uh, cold can't get to it insulates it quite a bit and it's a lot easier to get your hole back open but it's a pretty warm day today and then we'll be back later on just before dark so uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So this is BRMP maps or back road maps. You can get this on the app store. This is how I find a lot of my lakes and trails and stuff like that. You can record your tracks. And as you guys can see here, I'm, this is, I'm using it to find the deep holes here in the pond. Um, yeah, works without service. Shows you crown land and all that good stuff. So that uh, up there didn't really pan out. The water's dropped too much, so we're just gonna wander back down here and set another trap at the other spot. And uh, hopefully we get a couple. New Smitty sled's working real good with Hank. That's for sure. Hold up. He's doing such a good job. You're a good boy, Hankers. Anyway, we're back here at the other hole again. Probably gonna put one off into here somewhere. See what happens. There we go. Now that I'm all done scooping here, Got a nice hole. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, repeat the process we did for that one. Keep you guys updated. Well, instead of going and getting another stick, you can see I just tied the line on the end there and hung the piece of ice off the edge here. So the line goes down and over and it's not up against the edge. So, oh well. Hopefully we get a couple, see what happens on our way back here now. Let those traps soak for a couple hours and come back before dark. See what happens. Hopefully we have a couple. That's about like 4.35 now. Yeah. Just made it back here. Gonna check our traps and uh, hopefully we can get something out of it. Back down and uh, grab our bucket. A couple mud minnows. What's that? Another 
Obviously to be another mud minnow or something like that, or a small daze. There's one more in here somewhere. Right here. Small stickleback it looks like. So we did end up getting a couple anyway. Just gonna dump that back down the hole. And then a couple days, hopefully when we come back, the minnows will kind of be in this area. Oh yeah, we got a bunch in this one. I don't know if you guys can see. You probably got a dozen minnows, I'd say, and just the traps have been soaking what two, three hours. So, a bunch of mud minnows and stuff. I'd say that's a pretty good haul. Dump that pack down there again. That'll be awesome. Yeah. But, yeah. Got about a dozen minnows there. I'd say that's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, our smitty sled there. I have one, a bigger one for mine as well. It's been working out pretty well for us, so we're gonna go camping in a couple days here. So, yeah, we'll give you guys an update on the Smitty sleds and how those work out for us. Just starting to come up into the yard here, it's starting to get dark, but uh, I think we got around a dozen, a little over a dozen. I'll show you guys once we get inside here. Just up ahead there. So I'm just out here in the workshop. Um, I got, there's 14 of them in there, which is pretty good, that's for sure. There's that other Smitty sled for mine. It's a bit bigger, but if you guys can see that old door there, I put them right there beside that old door with that aerator and uh, keeps them nice and cold. Not enough to freeze though, but nice, probably like five, six degrees. Uh, so they keep real nice, keep a long time. And yeah, they're all, all fine and dandy. Hope you all enjoy the video. Well, that was a pretty good haul back there. Uh, we're gonna go ice camping in a couple days, use those minnows up and go back there and trap some more. Well, we'll keep you guys updated on everything. Uh, please like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.